How did I afford a house at 17? Simply put, I saved up at the job that I was at, at the time and bought a mobile home, so not really a house. I would say this was my first introduction into investing in something that could bring me a return passively. And that brings me to the point of this video of small steps that I've made in my life have slowly started to make a big impact in my life. Just last year when COVID hit, I started investing in the stock market, put in a little bit of money and started to see some progress. I am by no means rich, have a lot of money. I actually am like $10,000 in debt right now and I'm really bad with my money. The thing is making small steps like I've made have kind of produced things that in the future are gonna really benefit me and that's what I wanna talk about. So back to the house. I paid 8,000 for that and then me and my buddy like went in on the deal. It really didn't go anywhere. <laughs> And we ended up trying to just sell it for like a little bit more than we got into it, but it needed a bunch of major repairs. So there wasn't a lot of interest. Although we did find someone that wanted to rent to own the property, which was great for us because we would be making rent income and also we would be getting an amount on the actual house. And I think we agreed on 16,000 and rent because it needed work and he was gonna fix it it was like three or four hundred dollars five years later that guy still is renting the house we're on good terms and he's a great guy but he's still paying about four hundred dollars in rent we're not exactly making a whole lot of money off of this deal but it's an investment that has yielded me and my friend about two hundred dollars a month and for the investing, I only put in, I think, maybe $2,000 and slowly started to kind of build that up a little bit. I actually got about $8,000 in the account. And then the bus came along and I literally pulled almost all of my money out. If I wouldn't have just initially invested into the account, I wouldn't have this knowledge that I have now of like, okay, don't pull money out. That's the dumbest thing you can do. I've just gotten my feet wet and I'm making progress by trial and error. And I'm definitely not making a lot of progress or a lot of money. And I'm probably not doing it as good as someone that's just really disciplined and incredible. That's not me, but I'm making enough progress to like be able to look at these things and be grateful that I've done them. And if I look at a lot of the decisions in my life, like the bus, traveling, buying the land that I bought, these are all things that are very experimental that deep down in my heart, I think like I know, like they're probably not gonna be the end all be all and they're not gonna make me super fulfilled, but like I'm learning by doing those things. And if you don't give yourself the opportunity to fail and go out there and learn these things, then you're really doing yourself a disservice. I think generally as well, like there's a lot of motivation people that will tell you like you've really just got to commit to one thing and go after that one thing and you'll achieve amazing results and that's probably true but like I think majority of people just don't have that discipline or that willpower or that like initiative to actually make that happen so that's why for me like yes I'm kind of indecisive but I'm making decisions that are furthering my progress like overall on a big enough long enough scale is there an area in your life where you're thinking, yeah, I should probably try that, but you're like not willing to fully commit to it? Just analyze it really quickly and think like, okay, in the future, will I be grateful that I made this decision even if I fail? Or will I be better off if I just simply don't do it? And I think what you'll find majority of the time is that if you do it, you'll at least gain a better understanding of what you do want if you don't want that thing. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a video that's kind of a little bit more personal chilling in my car thinking my thoughts as if i was talking to somebody so if you enjoyed this conversation like the video subscribe and i will see you on the next one get that like button for sure subscribe share the video maybe like one day i'll have enough money to just give away money for people that do that so if you do it now you might you know be a little higher on the list <laughs>
yeah, so let me let me know what you guys think um, if you enjoyed this kind of video. I know it's not my norm and I'm not great at this kind of style of video, but I things I really enjoy is like conversations with people, whether that be podcasting, whether that be like on the streets, just talking to random people and asking them questions. That style I really enjoy and apparently is really popular. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> See you on the next video. Procrastination. Do you have this problem? You're okay to like write down all of your ideas and like study videos and stuff about your problem. But then when you wanna wake up in the morning, you just sleep in until one o'clock. I don't know why. Do you have this issue? I have this issue very bad. My brain's just not working like. You know what? One day, you know, I just want to be like David Dobrik. You're like, not really like Logan Paul, but like, you know, they got some fans, man. They got some fans. Usually they're like 10 years old, so that's, you know, like kind of weird or whatever, but whatever.